Right, had a cuppa. Carrying on, drop, gonna drop the piston in. First thing we're gonna do is lubricate the bore up nicely. I'm using a friction reducer, Activate. Can't hurt, can it? It's gotta be good. I should also point out that um, if you're doing what I'm doing and you're going for the Cosworth pistons, you will find when you go to gap the rings, they've got a much larger gap than standard. Um, it's the forged, the forged pistons grow a lot quicker and a lot more than the standard Nissan pistons. So you don't be worried about the, the ring gap being, I think on this it was 0.4 of a mil, which is a lot larger than the Nissan, Nissan calls for on theirs. So anyway, let's see if this goes in smoothly. Thoroughly lubed up. Right, as usual, arrow to the front, number four. The one thing you will have to watch, well, there's a couple of things, but one of the things one of the things to make sure is when the rod comes down, it's not fouling on the journals, it's not hitting a journal. So when you tap it, it should come straight down. Let's just actually rotate that so it's out of the way. Bring it down. I'm very popular doing this in the dining room, but you should see some of the other projects that have been built in the dining room. Right, okay, that's in. Squared up roughly, squared up. No gap around the bottom. Hopefully, piston ring will not pop through. Do you know what I haven't done? I do. Childish error there. I haven't put a bit of lube on the shell. So I said, as soon as the camera comes out, all goes to shit. There we go. Correct way. Line it all up. There is a slight lead in on the top of the bore here. So fingers crossed, it will all go smoothly. Just a little gentle tap, arrow to the front. Let's just make sure that's all seated on the top of the top of the block fingers crossed well 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 normally when you add a camera things go wrong but it seems oh we're going oh yes it's looking good if I just I'm just moving the, the rod Centralising the rod. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Right, if you come around the side and have a look here, I'll flip it over a bit. So we've now got we've now got the rod in place. You can see the new shells there. Now if I get the end cap, this is the all of these end caps are matched up. Add a bit of lube. Far too much lubricant, which is good. Now on this particular one, that lines up with that side. That's that way around. It's just, I'm not talking these up yet. What I will do, I will get them all in, I'll flip the engine over and I'll work through in one hit and talk them all up together. It does pay to invest in a good quality tool wrench. Yeah, the better the tools, believe it or not, it does actually make life a bit easier. So, let's just... That's looking good. We'll move on here. Right. Is 
when I um, put this all on my website, I will put the torque values down that I'm doing these two. I'm actually following the uh, recommendations from Eagle. I think these ones are torqued down to 43 foot pounds when it happens. So at the moment, just a gentle, just do them up. Just hand tight. Just touched up gently. Right, let's flip it back around. Back to the top. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Let's just turn it over. Check all's nice and smooth. If you're following this build on my website, you'll have seen everything before now. If you're just watching this video in isolation, you will have missed everything else. But you get the idea. Um, the next video is probably will be the general assembly and then it'll be the gas flow and the heads which I've done. Oh, that's looking beautiful. Okay, thank you very much for watching my video.